Hey everyone, so Shalinina here, and today we're gonna teach you how to plan, design, and automate your Instagram post all in Canva. Super duper easy, and I'm talking about if you want to do themes and filters and all of those things, you could do it straight from Canva. Let's go. Okay, let's start first with planning out your content. I'm gonna click on create, design, and then Instagram post. We are just planning out our content. However, easiest way to do that is in Canva. Remember, if you already have a topic list or a topic map, if you're in Brand Marketing Squad, this is the time that you take that content out. So I'm just gonna call this, let's say Instagram post for, let's say we're doing it for November. Okay, oops, no, November, spell it right. Now I'm gonna act like I'm a mommy blogger. I admire them so much because you guys have so much to do. And we're gonna plan out our content. Okay, so you don't see anything at the top here, right? But if I click on add page, just like magic, you'll see page titles, right? We're gonna use the page titles to, to title each of the content types. So let's just make up a couple. So maybe we're gonna start with steps for organizing kids rooms and you're going to put all of your ideas here so i'm just going to keep on doing this self care tips right and i'm just going to keep on going so as we're doing this i'm just going to keep on going don't worry about the designs right now a few moments later Okay, so now that what I've done is I've added each of the pages, right, each post, and we're just putting the ideas of what I'm going to post about, not the actual content. We're just kind of planning it out, right? And so for me, I'm a visual person. So what I would do next is design. If you are a person that is more analytical and you can't think of the designs, I would write out your post for each of these topics first. But again, I go backwards and I always start with the image first because that's what you know, stops people from scrolling. So I'm not a mommy blogger. I don't have any mom photos. So what I'm going to do is simply go to photos in Canva and I'm going to look for, I think I did it. Yep. African American mom. So I tested this out before. So what I did is for anything that has the word photo, anything that I want to add a photo of, I put photo in front of it and then whatever type of photo I wanna post, right? Video, self-care, right? All of those kind of things. So for my photos, I'm gonna drag them over. For you, you would simply upload your photos that you have because these would be of you. But let's say we have a photo reading with kids. Okay, so or kid. So I'm just going to do this. Here's a tip. You can right click and choose set image as background. Now, if you want to add text to it, you can. If you want to add a photo template, you can. For me, for this one, I'm just going to leave this as a photo. Remember, you can edit the image in Canva. In fact, they're adding a lot of additional features. So there's the filters down here, but the newest one is called photogenic. So I click on this, I can see the different ones. The reason why I'm bringing this out is because you want the same look and feel for all of your images. So we're gonna go with Whimsy, I guess it's called. So this is adding a filter. Remember, you can, it's basically the same thing you would do in Instagram if you're posting, okay? So you're gonna do that for all the images. I'm gonna go through and do that now. A few moments later. Okay, so I've went through and I've added photos and applied the filter. I've added videos. You can't apply filters to those, unfortunately. And other photos and other videos, right? So each, anything is there. Everything is there rather. And so now what we're gonna do is go back and design. Again, I don't. I know you don't need me to show you step-by-step step how to design everything, but I am gonna give you a few tips. So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go to templates. And this is one I recently used. I think I looked for the word flow. Yep, it's right there. I always like stuff that are flow, fluid, wavy, all that kind of stuff. So this one, same thing as before, I can add this to my likes or I can actually look at the artist, which is what we're going to do. I do want to show you that we can apply this artist's style to all of the graphics, right? So before we do that, I'm going to go in and I'm going to look at their styles. So here we have steps for organizing kids. So we may want to look for one where they have this artist has different steps 
or things that you can do. So this one doesn't really match the vibe as people would say that I'm looking for it. This one does. So I can add this. I'm just going to click there. And so I would want to add a photo of myself also so I can come back and do that. But for now, I'm just starting the graphic. Um, I just want to show you actually for me I would finish this graphic but for purposes of this training I'm just gonna go through the next one so this is self-care tips and so maybe I'll do a true false self-care tip right so I'll go through and add additional designs here all right so again I just went through and picked the designs for each of these if you are the person that needs to have the data first go ahead and have all of your context or your text ready to see if those match but remember if there's if you have five steps and there's only three here i would just select this and maybe not his face let's put him over there so i would just select it Control d drag it down without clicking anywhere else and make that number four then five and you could move these together i would also group these to make it easier for me to move these around again this isn't really on how to do social media graphics i have a whole video on that but i do want to show you some many hacks or tips or tricks on how to make it your own i'm just aligning them here and i would just align each one right to make sure and then i would update it to four etc okay so his photo here i would take this out i would make i would include mine let's see if our photos of the mom is still here she's not there but i'm going to i don't think we have one of her by herself so i'm going to use whatever this is a photo of or whoever this is rather um and then i'll go to background remover and again i'm just doing this really quick so i'm picking any photo i'm not going to spend a lot of time on it um now you do have to have pro to remove the background if you don't have pro you won't be able to do this part you'll just have to upload your photos with transparency right so i can do this even though it's hanging off the side when i actually i can crop it but it's going to automatically just show you the edge of it right i don't like that part but anyways then you can go down to other ones that have photos um i would up your you know update the content update your website add your stuff whatever if you want you can also add your logo here i have a video on how to create um, watermarks but let's move on to the next and final step you need to schedule your content yes okay anyways i'm gonna click down here and close that part and actually before you schedule your content if you already have the content ideas and stuff or any notes or whatever just keep in mind is after you're designing as you're designing there is a notes area down here so you can use notes but notice you can what we can navigate yes we can navigate not only can you navigate but you can switch it around so maybe you have where you want a picture and then a quote and then a video then a quote you know the little pattern everybody does i do it sometimes and i get tired of it because i think it's too like i don't know sometimes i do it sometimes i don't so you can add little notes down here but also you can kind of move these around to see how you want it but even better are you ready for the magic button we're gonna use grid because remember we're going to Instagram and Instagram has three across. So what I do is in the right hand corner after I click on grid, sometimes you're able to make this larger or smaller. We're not able to do that. Another way I've done this is if I take this and just resize the window, right? We only need three. I'm just going to move this to the middle. This will look just like your Instagram grid. And we would replace these, of course, and have all the information here. And now you already have your kind of sets for this week or this month or whatever. Now, one thing that we didn't do and I forgot, but we can do it now, is I can click on styles and I can apply a style. Okay, I applied a style, but it's just to this one. So I'm gonna click on apply to all pages already as it is updating my pages now that i go back to the grids it has my style so again if you have your own style already set up i have videos on that i'll link them below you could set that up but if not you can just here's your color code right here's your setup and it looks very very cohesive and so we applied the filters we've created the graphics you can actually drag and drop so say you don't want this here you want that here be careful because it always grabs two i don't know why it does that 
Put that here. Let's move this here. So you get the picture, right? See how it grabbed two? I don't know why it does that, but whatever the purple has around it, that's what it's grabbing. So you can drag and drop. And this is amazing because now you have exactly what you want. Now, the next step is actually to schedule it. But before I do that, because I understand some people are just going to have the free version of Canva. By the way, I have a free trial. It's affiliate link below. You can upgrade to pro. I think it's either 30 days or 45 days for free. So totally worth it. So maybe you want a copy of this. You want to add notes or whatever it is that you want. I would print it, right click and choose print. And then what you're going to do is save it as a PDF. It's going to default to landscape, but we're going to put it on portrait. Yours won't look like this. I'm telling you all the settings, save as PDF portrait. And then I make sure it's a legal page. We're not actually printing it. It's just for our desktop. And mine is about 75% under scale. Cause right now, usually it's at default, right? And so it will look like two. So I'm just going to go to custom and then you can go up or down. So I can go to 40 or 75 or whatever. This is a total, you know, optional item that you can do or step that you can do for those of you that like to keep, you know, notes, whatever. Okay. So we keep that and you print it and then now you have it. But if you are not going to be using Canva to schedule your social media posts, this is where you would simply download, right? You would click on download. You're going to make sure it says, PNG and then you're going to download them. But keep in mind any videos you have to go back and download individually. And let me just show you. So since we're choosing PNG, it should tell you there it goes heads up videos, audio and animations won't play when you're exporting. So basically I'm going to download this. It will be a zip file. And then I would go back and download as an MP3 or MP4 and I would just do the pages that had video. What's great is I've named them video. So I know which ones that I would download, right? Okay. So for those of you that do have pro, here's the next step. Are you ready? Yay. Okay. So we're going to actually click on the three dots and then we're going to go up to schedule and you're going to put on your Instagram. So here's the trick. Since it's all in one, what you're going to do is I'm going to go to Instagram. I have an entire video on how to set this up and how to use this. But for now, you go to Instagram. We are going to do these as JPEGs, right? And you are going to select just the page that you are going to select and go forward, right? And then you can go down to whatever, you know, pages that you want and schedule those as well. Write your caption, add your hashtags, all of that. And then it's scheduled. Watch my full video so to learn how to do that. But in general, we have planned, we have designed and we have scheduled our Instagram content all in Canva. And it didn't take that long. If you like videos like these and you want more, please let me know by leaving comments below, liking it, share it, tell the algorithm that you want more. So that will then tell me that you want more. Ciao for now.